The last video I did was about um, screwing a beveled frame dome together. And I got an interesting comment from Walter um, who had some concerns about the structural integrity of it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is we're going to do a little bit of a, a very basic, quick analysis of uh, that type, that method and how it holds together. A, a, what I was saying, it doesn't look very strong and it looks like it's going to pull apart because there's no strap or um, method of holding these hubs together, apparently. Um, we'll take a look and we'll look at some of the... Um, uh, of the forces and uh, so the, the way that it's fixed together and how it works. I'll link to um, the bevel frame method video, the how I screw them together mid video and also the structural analysis of a dome video so you, you can get a background to um, what we're talking about here. If, you, if we talk about the forces involved first um let's uh in the in the other video I did about um structural analysis the forces tend to be compressive and tensile um like so you tend to get tensile um forces around the perimeter of a dome and from any struts going from top to bottom vertical or approximately vertical tend to be under compression. So you never get all of it or a whole strut um, in compressive in um, tension. You can get a whole strut, uh, a whole hub, I should say, in compression. But the most common um, where the forces work are like this. You have a uh, tension across the hub and compression. Uh, on everything that isn't, you don't usually get one line of tension and then the rest is compression. I'm showing it on a hexagon here. Uh, if we look closely, uh, we'll zoom in and uh, we'll stick the screws in. Right, that's how the screws look so that the they're the, the joining this, these uh, frames together. Now, what uh, Walter was saying was why wouldn't, uh, if we look at this force, there's a tension force across here, why wouldn't the dome just do this? Pull apart like that, for example, uh, which is very interesting. Now we only have small screws holding these in. Uh, and Walter assumed that the, the screws in the corner here were what hold the hub together. Whereas in fact, if if we zoom back out, if you want to move this hub out, you have to move the, the length of the hub or bend it or snap it. But the whole the whole um thing has to move out and it also has to move away at here. Now it's extremely difficult to move that out without moving that out as well, up in this top corner here. So what tends to happen is, and if we look at the forces here, we have compression this way and tension this way. These two compressive forces are wanting to shove that frame back to where, back to where it came. So the tensile force is mitigated to some degree with these forces trying to push it back in. Also the fact that um, it's difficult to pull apart something um if we ha if this if we could let me have a let's push that back right if we look at this line here and you want to pull it apart that way that's relatively easy because you you're literally just pulling straight away but the more severe the angle like for example if we if we look if we pull it straight up it's at a bit of an angle and if we pull it this way that way it's at an extreme angle. So any screws um, that are in here, if we, if we try to pull it straight away, they're, they're not pulling out, they're pulling across. It's almost like they're trying to pull across. It's a difficult, difficult to explain, but it's always harder to pull um, something apart 
at an angle by pulling it at an angle than it is by pulling it straight out and this hub has no straight angles so next question would be well why doesn't it just pull away like this to pull three frames away like that that's th that's the way the force is acting let's have a oops quick look here the foot this force wants to pull that away so why doesn't it pull it away that way well if you look at the the other forces of compression these two forces of compression are trying to push that back together again like that so th so these the compressive forces um hold hold the frame together i've separated each frame uh, so you can see each individual frame that's joined together so these are these gaps here show um, how we're going to try and join it together um, from this point um, each triangle appears to be individual and it and it's jointed um, or we're trying to fix it together as a panelized frame so it's, if, if you were fixing panels together you would fix them this way they would they would be joined along this line. If if I then move to the joined um, the joined section like that, the frame acts as a, a hub and strut really because this then becomes one um, strut. So although it's been a triangle frame and it's joined together, it forms six struts uh, the fact that these are joined down the center it's just like you took a hub and strut but you cut them down the center and then you screwed them back together again the the main forces aren't on this um join they're down the strut down the whole strut which is two triangle edges joined together um one other point to note is that if you put the cover on what I do when I cover a dome is I usually cover three um, at a time when I'm covering with polythene um, and this joint here would be covered in um, polythene repair tape so effectively the um, hole outside of the dome has a polythene uh, might I add a tight polythene cover on it so yes I'm suggesting that the polythene um adds strength because again if you were to imagine trying to pull these apart if you have and this is covered in polythene you have you'd have to try you're trying to pull a, a piece of polythene polythene is not that strong but if you take a meter length of polythene and staple it to a piece of wood two pieces of wood and you try and pull those two pieces of wood apart it's extremely difficult if you do it over a hundred millimeter or a four inch piece of plastic and you put it put it between two pieces of wood and you pull it apart you get it it wouldn't be that difficult but it's because it's so long um, that it makes it difficult and also the more screws you have on these edges uh, even though they're small adds to the strength because it's it is just as I actually think more efficient to have a lot of small screws hold something together than it is to have one or two very large screws because if they fail um, you've got no backup whereas uh, we, we did look at the screw in this edge here if that failed completely failed there's another screw just up here and obviously this this won't come apart theoretically it could bend but it won't come apart because the, it's the, the screws down here are holding it and up here so although the screw in the in the hub you think that that's the one that's holding the hub together but it's actually not because it's it's a combination of a panelized system um, and a strut system okay if we analyze this as a strut system I can probably demonstrate this with um, some colors 
uh, if, if it's a strut system, if it's a panelized system, then uh, I'm quickly going to color in. That would be one, that's your frame, and you can. that gives the impression that that's the, the strength in that part, and it wants to come apart across here, but that's not actually how it works. Um, if we undo that, in a um, strut system, it would it would be like that. And I'll just put another strut in in a different colour. Uh, I'll just colour that one as well. That's that's a strut. And uh, let's do a green one. And a pink. So you can see that. Um, Let's look at this red one, which is pulling apart, uh, and let's put the screws back in. There you go. It's quite difficult to explain, and uh, it's maybe worth to come back and have a look at this. Uh, but this red strut is being has tension on it, so it's wanting to pull apart. But you can see that it's uh, it as a strut, it's it's that shape there, and it has this long screw into this blue strut. So even though that, that wants to pull apart, um, it's not pulling directly away from something. It wants to slide on this green one. It's uh, screwed into the blue one. And it's also screwed into the green one. The screw in the green one wants to pull straight out, whereas the screw into the blue one wants to pull away. We established that the blue um, hub, uh, sorry, strut, won't, doesn't want to split because of the forces trying to hold it together and it's this um, collection of forces that stops the um, hub coming apart so it's actually a very strong system um, I when I built my first dome um, or the, well, the other thing to remember probably the lesson in this is actually to take each dome uh, on its own merits. Don't try and um, generalize about the structural strength uh, or of one material versus another. If you generalize across uh, as domes as a, uh, uh, in one form or another form, you go, you're going to get problems because you could make a mistake and you could make something very weak. Uh, so I think you have to take the whole structure and analyze that as one structure. Um, if you don't do that, uh, or if you do that and you make a generalization and then you build something but you build it bigger or you build it with um, uh, different screws, you can. there's lots of things you can change that might affect the overall strength of the dome. Um, so you have to look at each one individually. Uh, so I don't like generalizing that this strut's good for that or uh, this strut. I don't. I wouldn't say that this strut. He, this um, system here is good for all domes. Um, the domes I build are tend to be about uh, between six and twelve meters. You know, twelve meters is the biggest I've done using this system, uh, which is a decent size. Um, and they have. They tend to have a polythene cover, and that polythene cover adds strength um, to the dome. You you wouldn't think so, but it it adds a, a huge amount of strength. Back to the story where I built my first dome. It was a beveled frame dome covered in polythene. The joints were taped, and I, I sold it to somebody um, so I could build something else. So I had to take it down. I took all the screws out of all the frames, so there was no screws left in any of the frames. And I figured I'll just pop it apart because it's only got the tape from the um, polythene repair tape holding it together. I could stand on it and it still wouldn't come apart. I had to go around the whole dome and take off um, all of the polythene repair tape to be able to get it to come apart. So uh, you can't say, I think experience tells me that I've tried a number of things and I know that how strong they are. It's difficult to appreciate that when you're looking at something um, online and you know lots of people have lots of different opinions um, but I, I just had to reply it was such an interesting comment so thanks for that and I hope you found uh, this 
useful.